prior to using the Vulcan infrared, um, we had the much older infrared at the beginning of our care oven to begin with. Well, what we found is it takes a little bit of uh, a little bit of practice. You have to figure out first of all um, you know, what's your most standard product and try to set up a recipe that can encompass as many products as possible without having to go back and change. Um, our zones are typically set, the lower zones, at about 70 percent uh, and we found that, that that quick gel on the entrance uh, allows us to keep our uh, paint from getting too hot as it goes through the oven. If we had all zones set at the same setting, we would be cooking our product and it would actually be uh, over curing it. Um, and that's been extremely beneficial for us. The Vulcan IR system has given us has allowed us to uh, have uh, less than one delta E off the, the scale as far as uh, uh, what our master settings are. So uh, huge, huge uh, quality uh, improvements for us in that sense. Vulcan worked with our cure oven supplier as well and they were able to integrate the panels into one control panel so that all of our controls of the IR and the cure and the dry off could all be done through the same user interface. And if the oven, if the line did stop for a, a minute or two because if something happened somewhere in the, in the, on the conveyor line, it would re really affect us on the old oven. Now we could control that really quickly just by putting our infrareds on standby instead of just giving that heat. Lighting, the primary color is white, uh, but you have your gloss whites, which we use on our high bay fixtures, which are typically uh, ceiling mounted type fixtures, or uh, like in a gymnasium, you'd see them or inside of a Costco or a Canadian tire or things along those lines. A matte finish is one of the most challenging finishes to do. Anybody can really put a gloss on a, on a, on a finish, but to try to keep the, the matte down, you have to not only work with your powder coating, uh, supplier uh, from a uh, from a formula perspective, but you have to work on the very cr crucial element, which we found is the oven settings themselves. Uh, if you don't have a proper oven, you're not going to get consistency in this product. It's extremely volatile and, and uh, fluctuates within a few degrees uh, of, of temperature setting. It can turn from yellow to white or white to yellow. So you have to be consistent. You know, they put uh, thousands of our pictures into an office building. We want them to be given the proper light output, and that reflectivity is what gives them the proper light output.